Hello my lovely angels, how are you guys doing? I hope you are fine and rocking as always. Today we are going to see how your coming week is going to be. I am so sorry that last two weeks I did not do a proper weekly reading. I was so busy taking workshops and webinars and consultations plus I am a mom and uh, everything becomes like a little chaotic at times but i'm so glad that finally i'm able to do this also as i had promised on i think uh thursday or no on friday that for the next three days i will be kind of helping you to find answers to the problems that you're facing so there was a video shared on friday it was a detailed reading about problems and why and what are, what is god's plan do uh, look, do have a look at it as it can really help you on 30th march there was a live q a on law of attraction and uh, it is there because uh, and then of course this weekly reading is there and on Sunday there is going to be a surprise so ensure that you do not miss that subscribe uh, that surprise so subscribe to my channel so that you get the notific notification so we have three options over here option number one is this beautiful pink and white roses option number two is this lovely lotus and option number three are this beautiful yellow flowers so you can choose any option that you are drawn towards or in case if you uh, are confused she told i'm confused which option i should select then you can also go by date of birth so for pile number one the date of birth is one to ten if you're born any day between sorry from one to ten all right if you are born between or from 11 to 20 that is on these dates then you can choose pile 2 in case if you are born from 21 to 31 any of these dates then you can choose pile 3 one more way of choosing the pile is you can either go by of the flower option or by the date of birth option or you can take three pieces of paper write one two and three one number only in one piece of paper say dear god god is archangels how my next week how my coming week is going to be pick up any one piece of paper whatever number comes that's going to be your pile so for me this is my favorite method as I know the divine is choosing the pile and I'll get my answers. So any of the three methods you can use. And now, without any delay, let's get started. Hello, group one. How are you guys doing? I hope you're fine and rocky as always. If you're chosen group one, that is you're chosen this beautiful bouquet or you're chosen this pile because of your date of birth from any number between uh, from one to 10, okay, like this numbers then this is going to be your reading. So you've chosen this beautiful pink and white roses, which means lot of healing and peace and self-love and self-care you are going to do in the week ahead, all right? Let me keep your beautiful bouquet over here. All right, here is okay. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll keep it over here, okay. Now let's see what your week looks like okay beginning of the week mid of the week i feel that you will go for salon or self-care end of the week all right let's see your cards one by one before i remove your cards let me tell you that i'm coming up with a live eye miracle workshop this workshop is so transformational that many of my participants have experienced huge transformation in their life. All right, whether it is home, whether it is career, whether it is finances, whether it is business, uh, whether it is weight loss. Uh, so yes, my participants have experienced. And this year I have introduced two bonus content. One is academics and the other is pregnancy. 
So in this, we cover a lot about self. I teach how you can clear your obstacles, how you can manifest what you desire. All right. So let's see the beginning of the week. You got, you have got Ace of Pentacles, which means in the beginning of the week, there is going to be an inflow of money happening, abundance, prosperity. You're going to start something new in terms of your career or your finances. You may make certain investments as well. This is going to be a new beginning with regards to your finances. Some of you are going to spend time in nature, uh, planting as well. Wow. The mid of the week, you have got the Empress card, which means again, whatever you're going to sow in the beginning of the week, you're going to get results for it in the mid of the week. All right. So the Empress card is telling us there's going to be abundance and opportunities. Mother healing is going to be a focus. Also, there will be this... Um, this luxury that you're going to have some of you may do luxury shopping in the mid of the week as well the end of the week wow group one you are having a great week ahead the end of the week you have got the four of wands which means you are going to really have a great time you're going to uh, celebrate and enjoy some of you may have a house party or you may invite someone at your home at the, or you may go to someone's home there is a possibility that you may attend an event or a lot of celebration happening you may pur you may do some purchase for your home some of you may literally buy or sell a home as well now when i look at your cards i see that the beginning of whatever you're going to sow in the beginning of the week you're going to reap it ahead all right it's beautiful the cards are beautiful now let's see what the tea leaf cards are going to tell us. All right, we're going to see all of these cards, okay, one by one. The first card that you have got is dragon. Beware of self-delusion. So in order to capture this energy, it is extremely important that you keep your heads out of clouds. You are practical. You are also focusing on what you need to do to make most of these this energy. All right. Someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. So don't let this be yourself because if you are not going to change, then how do you manifest all that you need? And if somebody else is not changing, try and find some other way around it. All right. You have got psychic ability, trust your intuition. So you're going to get a lot of visions. All right. For some, I also see pregnancy happening. I just kind of just got a message now. So uh, with the ace of pentacles and the empress and the four of wands i do see for some people there could be news regarding pregnancy as well all right your intuition is going to guide you so listen to your intuition and do not ignore it all right you got over your solid foundation success with effort which again this is what your cards are telling us if you lay a solid foundation, you're going to get a lot of success. Of course, you need to take efforts as well. Wow, that's interesting. Now, let's see what your Wheel of Fortune is going to tell us. So think about a question, group one, and let me spin the wheel for you. Wow, we are caught between trust and jackpot. So the higher your trust, the high jackpot you are going to experience. All right, group one, I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I did. If you did, do hit the like button to subscribe to my channel. And if you wish to unbox miracles in your life, if you wish to manifest your dreams and desires with ease and uh, effortlessly then you can check my workshop link which is i am miracle in which many of my participants have experienced huge shifts and transformation in their life to know more details about this workshop and the earlier participants experiences you can click on the link given in the pinned comment and uh, don't wait for the don't miss the surprise okay because uh, i am going to bring that so subscribe to this channel so that you get the notification all right 
Lots of love to you. Take care. Bye bye. Hello group 2. How are you guys doing? I hope you are fine and rocking as well. Today we are going to see how your coming week is going to be. I'm so sorry I was not able to upload a detailed video as I was busy with webinars and workshops as well and consultations. Plus I am a mom. Alright, so you have chosen this beautiful lotus. That's why you are, chose, you are seeing pile 2 or your date of birth falls from 11 to 20 any of the dates. Alright, so either or or both. We are going to see your coming week. So since you've chosen this beautiful pink lotus, I feel that there is going to be a lot of wisdom coming your way. I also feel that you did some ritual or something regarding a goddess or you're praying to a goddess is what I am getting. Now let's see how your week is going to be. All right. Beginning of the week. Hold on. Mid of the week, end of the week. I feel that you have been praying to a masculine and a feminine god, like a couple god, like you know, goddess Lakshmi, Lord Narayan, Shiva Parvati. I feel that kind of all right. Now, let's see your cards one by one. Wow, you got the five of pentacles, which means in the beginning of the week, you may feel insecure, you may feel lost. However, don't feel anxious, don't feel lost because there will be a key presented to you to get out of this anxiety and insecurity. Some of you may have some issues around the home, I feel as well. Okay. Wow, look at this. From being so anxious and worried and tense to being completely successful financially and having all your financial goals met. So, you're going to get this key which you will open and then there will be this entire area out there okay so beyond this door that you see okay she's upset about this door because the door is not opening but once she gets the key and she opens the door there is this beautiful financial abundance waiting for her all right so in the middle of the week you will experience appreciation all the efforts that you have put in before you're going to reap the rewards for the same and that's going to make you so happy the end of the week you have got the judgment card which means there's going to be a huge positive transformation you're going to reach out to more people you're going to reach out to, uh, you're going to get more help as well. There will be this um, uh, this communication that you are going to do, which is going to be very, very important. All right. Now, let's see what your tea leaf cards are going to tell us. All right. So you have got wishbone. So there's a wish that's going to get granted. Isn't that beautiful? Now that quite connects with the nine of pentacles and the uh, judgment card. You're a fair man. So you're going to deal with someone who is, uh, you know, a fair in complexion or uh, maybe fair in his dealings and that's going to help you. This man is going to help you. You got over here, get back to the basics. So in order to get out of the five of pentacle energy to the nine of pentacle energy, you need to get back to basic things. You don't have to do very ordinate or very out of the box things, all right? Do basic things for you to kind of reap what you need to reap. You got over your rose, which means romance is in the air. So the ones who are single may meet someone very interesting. The ones who are already married or in a committed relationship, you are going to maybe watch K-dramas together. You're going to go on a date with your partner and you're going to have some really good, uh, good time with your partner. I also feel that some singles have done some ritual around love. So I teach how you can manifest love in the I Am Miracle workshop. So uh, if, you're, if you're married and you want to kind of, you know, uh, get more closer to your partner to be on the same level, 
then I also cover that in the I Miracle workshop. To transform your life with this amazing workshop, you can unbox the miracles by clicking on the link in the pinned comment. All right, now let's see what your Wheel of Fortune is gonna tell us group two. So think about a question and let me spin the wheel for you. You have got between jackpot and maybe. Now let's understand why is it a maybe? Why is it not like jackpot and trust or something like that? I feel because you need to get out of this energy. It is a maybe because it looks like you need support, okay? And you need and you should not even talk about it to your friends. Keep it to yourself. That's going to be super important. All right, group two, take care of yourself. Lots of love to you. And yes, do subscribe to my channel so that you do not miss the surprise that I'm going to have for you. All right, take care of yourself. Bye-bye. Hello, group three. How are you guys doing? I hope you're fine and rocking as well. This is Shita Sapan Matre and today we are going to see in detail about your coming week. I'm so sorry that I was not able to upload this detailed reading for two weeks. I was so busy with my webinar, workshop, consultation, trained almost in total 303 participants in February. And of course, took a lot of consultation. It was so fruitful and so happening. So if you've chosen this beautiful yellow flowers or you've chosen this pile because of your date of birth, all right, if your date of birth falls from 21 to 31st, any of the this numbers, or you've chosen because of both the option or any one option, we're going to check how your coming week is going to be, all right? Let me keep your option over here. And the number over here, let's see your week in detail. I feel that you know you are really hopeful and excited like you have gotten some strategy and you feel the strategy is going to work mid of the week and end of the week like I see a lot of hope around you okay the beginning of the week, you've got five of wands. So there is going to be competition. There is going to be a lot of conflict as well. So ensure that you remain calm. Ensure that you're doing all that it takes to win this competition, okay? To win this, uh, this, uh, this situation, all right? The middle of the week, you got the four of cups. So there is going to be boredom. You may feel anxious. You may feel that, okay, I wanted this, but I'm getting this. Do not miss opportunities, all right? And do not dwell too much into this conflict. That's not going to help you, all right? The end of the week, you have got the world card, which means you're going to be successful. You may dance. You may have a really great time. Also with this card, you may, you may watch a lot of international content. Some of you may learn a new language as well. There would be a lot of, you know, uh, fun and celebration as well at the end of the week. Some of you may travel or make travel plans as well. So in our Miracle Workshop, I teach all about manifestation because I personally have manifested an amazing life. And being an eight number, you do face a lot of struggles. So how I overcome those struggles and how I have manifested all the amazing things in my life. I teach about it in the I Miracle Workshop, wherein I combine the law of attraction with the power of Archangels. To unbox these miracles into your life and to invite them, you can click on the link given in the pinned comment so that you can see the earlier participants' experiences. And if you're truly guided, you can enroll for the same as well and make that investment in yourself. Now let's see what your tea leaf cards are going to tell us. All right, let me pick this card. All right, two cards just fell, okay, okay. All right. A lot of cards have just fallen. Now let's see each one of them. Okay. 
you have got December. So whatever you do in the next week, the results are going to come in the month of December. So ensure that you're giving your best. You got the wheel over here. So if you're going to be indecisive, you're not going to reach where you want to reach. So make good decisions in the coming week. All right. You got unsuccessful plans. So certain plans may not be successful, but ensure that it's God's way of protecting you. You got over your moon. So there are going to be a lot of changes happening in your life and listen to your intuitions so where you can make most out of these changes. And you have got the month October as well. So the month of October and December are going to have a profound effect because of what you do in the next week. All right. So take care of yourself, group three. Now let's see what your wheel of fortune is going to tell us. Think about a question, group three, and let me spin the wheel for you. You have got better. So whatever question you have asked, the answer is better. Isn't that awesome, group three? Group three, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Ensure that you subscribe to my channel so that you do not miss uh, the surprise that I have for you. All right, because if you do not subscribe, you will not get the notification and then you will regret it. All right, so I am uh, there on Instagram as well, wherein we will be announcing what the surprise is going to be. And yes, if you want to really transform your life and invite more miracles in your life, then you can do the I Miracle Workshop and attract and manifest your dreams and desires effortlessly with the help of archangels to know more details about this workshop and the earlier participants experiences click on the link given in the pinned comment take care bye bye